qualify um, the difference between team contest and contest, whereas we don't ha we don't have to. It's a match or a contest. It's clear. Exactly. Yeah. We, we have we our. We don't have to say team contest or individual contest. It's a match and a contest. Yeah, because team is. Yeah. Today it's only team. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> and, and that's why uh, when it when it's when you've got the, the, the team event going on, you can afford to do it and say contest and match. Yeah. You know, the match is between Russia in the white and the Ukraine in blue. Mm -hmm. The first contest in the match features Mikhail Pulyayev and Georgi Zantaraya. That's clear. Pulyayev. <laughs> I think that's probably something that we have to write up in our sport rules. Yeah. The way that we reference things. It's simple and then everybody will pick it up. Mm -hmm. During team events, the individual head-to-heads are referred to as contests and the team head-to-head -head are referred to as the match. Simple enough. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Even I understood that. <laughs> oh God. As non-native speaker. <laughs> Oh, that was an amazing attack from Pulyayev. <laughs> Spectacular. And then the Yuko. Well, Zantaraya was mm. airborne for quite a while, wasn't he? Yeah. Wow. I mean, this is nothing new about Pulyayev. <laughs> His qualities. Yes, we play. Oh my God. <laughs> he just God. went on to his front there. Yeah. A little bit of the side to bring up the Yuko. That's the lead now mm -hmm. for the Russian Pulyayev with two minutes and 50 odd left to go. Und bei der Leading. Hat die Nashmi ein Schachtertour spielen gewonnen bei der Contests. Two to nothing then. Coach and team is also a good team. Yeah, we, will, we will see them later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone over this time for a time. Yeah. yeah. How hard is that for Santoraya to win? Uh, sorry, to lose two times against the two yeah, yeah, Russians. Yeah. Huh? Well, 
where it's a must must win state coming up after this because the Yartsev <laughs> well he, he's streets ahead as far as favorites are concerned they decided not to put Drebo in mm -hmm. here maybe Drebo was injured or they just felt that a fresh Artem Khomula would give Maybe the yeah. arts have more of a, a run for his money than Drebo, who'd already had quite a good run out this morning, to be honest. Yeah. Is it that they... Rock, Draxic. Yeah, Rocky. He, mm. had a, he had a good fight against him. So maybe it's a good move because mm -hmm. he, comes, he comes there fresh. So perhaps that is a good move. Pulyaev, Yatsev, Kubetsov and Voprosov. No heavyweight for the Russians. That's a huge yeah, risk. Yes. Huge risk. They didn't even decide to take Denisov. I mean, they have Saidov and Deni Denisov who are there. <laughs> Good. Denisov was fighting yesterday. They could have put Kubetsov in, I suppose. He was in the uh, uh, under... Oh. Um... Is it? I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of someone else. Who did they have in the under? They, did they not have an under 100 kilo category fighter at all then? It's unusual for Russian. You're right. I remember I was looking for Kovalayev. I didn't find his name on the draw. Yes, yeah. It must have. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think who it was that we've been seeing at under 100. For, for Russia recently, who's really good. Why, why, why? Bizzoltanov, thanks very much. Yeah. yeah. Atlan Bizzoltanov, so not around. No, you're right. The only other option for them would have been Denisov. So they, they fancy their chances of being able to do this with just four. But, but that also means that Renat Zaidov... Maybe he was injured. Yeah. Can be the only reason because... You either have fighters... Can you let them fight? No. Well, Gordienko is going to take that one, so we can look at 1-1. One, one. We look in the other three remaining contests, then. Whoop. Oh, yeah, turned yeah. over. Better control from the Ukrainian in the end. He's lucky not to give away a score here, mm -hmm. Iart said. Mm -hmm. Let's see what, what the technique is. Does he... No. No. He only turns in when they're already down. I think, yeah, he only turns him when they're already down. But sometimes uh, or we also saw or that uh, they gave something like, like a counter, you know, when yeah. they're turning and meanwhile they are on getting on the ground, yeah. he turns them. This was... I'm glad that they didn't. Not that they, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's still dangerous. <laughs> Dudchik and Kubetsov, Zinyavsky for Prosov. Komla's got to do this. They really need this win the Ukrainians yeah. nice as she was up uh, To Yuko on the board for Yatsev.
another effort with Ashi Waza from Yartsev. Second penalty. Yeah, there's only half a minute left to go. Yeah. Yartsev is now yeah. just coasting home now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was good <laughs> and dangerous. Oh. Only put him onto his front though. Yep. Third penalty picked up by Yata. He goes down again. <laughs> Georgians are three, three nothing up yes. on match three against the Czech Republic, and now Vinyashvili comes to the mat. Down on mat three. <laughs> right, coming up next, Alan Kubetsov of Russia faces Vitaly Ducic. Kubetsov in white and Ducic in blue. Two to nothing Russia lead at the moment. This is the must win contest. The cross off is waiting then for his next contest. is also another Russian who's just, I think, in the road ranking next to Kubetsov. Kalmosayev. For me, before it was interesting uh, who they take. So 
It was Nifantov and Kubetsov. Palmosayev was also successful in last events. Mm, he's still young, but yeah, I think still. When, when you look at that list of under 81 kilo category fighters from Russia, I think there are four or five of them. Any, any one of whom they could send them would be really competitive. Yeah. Oh, really, by the way, and the other Komi. <laughs> <laughs> In. Yeah. I mean, it's not the end yet with Horak. Good chances to get no, one point for uh, the check. <laughs> Otherwise, it's five to zero. Betsov, it is, he wins out there over Vitaly Vlachek, and that, as far as the match is concerned, is it really? Three to nothing now. Got two contests to come, but an unassailable lead for the Russians. As Kirill Poprosov take to the mat. He faces Vadim Zinyavsky now. score yet 340 odd left to go effort there from Oprosov. He wants to go across with that Marote Seonagi, but he's got that covered. Beautifully done by Voprosov, throwing Zinyavsky there for Ippon. Thank you. 
Well, the Ukraine coming out, winners there, no heavyweight, sorry, sorry, Russia coming out, the winner there, no Ukrainian heavyweight, and the Russians through now to the semi-final. What have we got coming up next then?